With there being so many plan identification apps out right now, it can be difficult to choose just one. It can be even more difficult to choose the right one. So in today's video, we're going to be testing out 16 of the most popular plan identification apps out right now to see which one is the most efficient. We will be assessing each app using five photos that I previously took, and this is done so that each app receives the same images. Each app is going to have to identify the leaf of an eastern redbud, the nut of a pecan, the flower of a bloodroot, the bark of a persimmon tree, and the twig of an autumn olive. The app that identifies the most of these plant species will be deemed the most efficient. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first app. So let's go ahead and open up Blossom. Practically all of these apps have this little screen that pops up and it's like, subscribe, pay here, <laughs> you know, something like that. They're trying to get you to pay money and you don't have to pay money for most of them. So in fact, none of these you have to pay money. So. You're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the X that's in the corner, because there's always gonna be a little X. They try to hide it pretty well, but I always find it. Uh, so you're gonna hit the X, and then it's gonna let you go ahead and identify your plants. So we're uploading our Eastern Redbud photo, and I guess it wants me to pay again. I guess it, it won't do the identification. Oh, I think we only get three IDs. I did practice a little bit beforehand, um, so it tells me in like in the bottom uh, that I use three out of three IDs. So I'm just gonna kick Blossom out because it's like if it only gives you three free IDs, you're probably gonna be identifying more than three plants. And I'm not gonna make anybody pay for any sort of subscription because uh, nobody wants to do that, especially when there's free plant identification apps out there. So yeah, Blossom is out for the count. We're just gonna go ahead and delete that. Oh, remove that. Uh-huh, sorry. Next, let's open up Botan. Oh, it's a cute little avatar, or icon. We're gonna select our Eastern Red Bud again, and let's see if it identifies it. Let's see how Botan does. And it's trying to make me pay again. It actually can't find the information for this species. So, um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and move on to iNaturalist. As you can see, I do have some observations on iNaturalist, so you can go ahead and friend me on there and we can identify plants together. Or I do like to identify some other things, like I like birds and other things like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and observe. I don't really see anything, which is kind of weird. I usually see some species that are suggested, but let's click the what did you see? So view suggestions. And it's not popping anything up. So that's not a good sign, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click this show nearby suggestions only, because right now it's only showing species that are nearby, which red bud should be, um, but let's see what else it suggests. So it's suggesting violets, lots of violets, um, some other trees, some, an alder, um, okay, um, this is definitely not a violet, but you know. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to Leaf Snap. All right, so now we're just gonna upload our photo and we're gonna hit the leaf, because it's a leaf, it's not a flower, and we get an ad. Great, well, I'm just gonna hit the X because I don't wanna look at the leaf. Um, and it thinks it's a violet. It thinks it's a violet, and this is not a violet. This is an Eastern Red, but this definitely came off of a tree, but it does list other options. I am not going to correct the result because you all should know better. Now let's go on to Nature ID, a Judas tree. Okay, so pretty close, same genus, it's in Circus. We have Circus canadensis and they have Circus something else. Okay, and here we are, Eastern Red Bud. Now let's move on to picture this. I like that it looks like a laser. And, wow, Eastern Red Bud is the first one that's gotten it correct. This is a pretty easy leap, so... Next we're gonna do Planta. I guess Planta actually wants you to pay to identify the plant. I know how to solve this problem. Planta is out. Now we're just gonna move on to Plantia. <laughs> they are desperate for money. Okay, we've got some good results here. Judas tree, Circus canadensis. All right, so now we're gonna do plantain. Ooh, 
I actually really like this one. It, it got it correct, by the way. But I like this one because it's saying like full sun, difficulty it's medium to grow, and it tells you the hardiness zone. So that's actually pretty cool. And it tells you general information about it and plant requirements. Now we're gonna move on to plant net. Skip, I don't wanna make an account. And this, it thinks it's a violet. However, there is a 4% chance that the plant we have is an Eastern red bud. So that is great news, everybody. A 4% chance. But a 14% chance that it is an Arctic yellow violet. Mm. Good job, plant net. All right, now we're gonna look at plant snap. Oh, this one limits you as well. It says, I see up top it says five out of five today. I'm just gonna delete plant snap. I'm not gonna deal with that. Cause it's like, why are you limiting people? That's dumb. Let's just do planty next. Are you kidding me? Is planty not gonna let me identify this plant? Gosh, okay planty, you're out. You're out. I'll tell you what, slowly but surely the list of apps we have here, it's just getting smaller and smaller. I hope we didn't delete the most efficient one. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna look at Plant Identify. Okay, so it thinks it's a Judas tree. Let's see if it'll let us, ah! Okay, yeah, so it thinks that it is a different member of Circus, which is pretty close, pretty close. It has Eastern Red Bud at the second. So, Pretty close, at least it doesn't think it's a violet straight away, like some of the other ones. Now, next we're gonna look at plant ID. It thinks it's a violet. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna take a look at seek. Identify photo. And we weren't able, <laughs> we weren't able to identify this photo. Turns out, very few of these apps were able to identify our Eastern Red Bud Leaf. And I thought that our eastern red bud leaf would be the easiest to identify out of all of our pictures. But apparently, it's proving to be very hard. Okay, so if you go to your Photos app, so you click your Photos app, and you go to the actual photo inside. This is if you have an iPhone. It's different if you have an Android or like a Google phone. I don't know how those work. But if you have an iPhone, you can do this. Maybe it'll work. We're going to find out. You can click this little eye at the bottom and when you do that it's going to say look up plant and yeah we want to look up the plant we want to see if it can figure out what this is and so far it's not giving us anything well it's not giving us what we're looking for it's giving us stuff but it's not giving us the right stuff uh because yeah this is definitely not right so yeah that was a bust for our Eastern Red Bud. We are down to 12 out of our 16 apps. So now let's continue with our blood root. Okay, so let's start off with Botan and see how Botan does against the blood root. Here we got the blood root and we're just seeing how it goes. No, we don't want to pay. We'll, we'll try it one more time. But I think it's going to make me pay. Or try to. Yeah. Botan, you're done. You're finished. Okay, so now we're actually down to 11 apps. Um, five have been eliminated. Uh, <laughs> now let's open up iNaturalist. Still no suggestions? Ah, blood roots. Okay, so it actually got to the genus level, so that's pretty good. Wait, a second thought. Isn't it like the only member in its genus? So. Getting down to the genus level is actually pretty good because it gets you to the species level practically. But <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and move on to leaf snap. Per, okay. Ooh, it's looking like everyone's doing a little bit better identifying the blood root than they did uh, identifying that red bud, which that's good. Okay, awesome. It got it. That's awesome. It tells you it's poisonous. Don't eat it. It is 98% sure that we are looking at a blood root. And it got us to the genus level. Pretty good. But now we're going to open up Seek and we're going to see if Seek can find the plant we're looking for. 
<laughs> we are uploading our blood root. And bam, blood root. Ooh, I got a bronze plant badge. That's that's a fun little thing about Seek. I want to go look at my badge. I'm a tadpole. There's my bronze. Observe one plant. Okay, that's actually kind of fun. So we've opened up our blood root photo, and now let's click the eye and look up plant. So it reached blood root. So it looks like blood root was much easier for everyone to get than uh, Eastern Redbud was. So that's good at least. They could at least identify something. All right, now this next photo, I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty difficult for these apps to identify, and we're gonna see a lot of them get it wrong. Next, we're doing the bark of the persimmon tree. Ooh, it got to persimmons. Its top result is a home oak, but I see its second result is a persimmon. All right, and bam, right down to the species, we've got our common persimmon. Okay, American persimmon. So. Maybe everyone's not doing as poorly as I thought they would, but whatever. I don't even know what app we're on right now. I didn't even look. I just know we're on the next one. But they got home oak, then an ash, and then the persimmon. Okay. It's like, oh yeah, the persimmon's also likely. No, it's very likely that that's a persimmon. Okay. Okay, this is a different oak. Like, <laughs> this is definitely not a persimmon. I hope I get another badge. So we're gonna click identify photo. It couldn't identify the photo. That's stupid. I guess Seek's probably not good at identifying photos. That's probably what it is. You probably have to be like at the species and like, I think you have to move the camera around uh, the app in order to identify it. But we're using photos, so unfortunately it does not play to Seek's strength. So, so we're at our persimmon bark photo. We're going to click the eye, um, and it's not giving us any options. So I guess we can't look up the bark. And it doesn't recognize this as a plant, and it doesn't recognize that it's something that we can look up and try to find on the internet. That's unfortunate. So now we're going to move on to our next photo. We're going to move on to our pecan. I'll bet it's going to get down to at least hickories. Bam, it got down to hickories. So I think iNaturalist is pretty good at getting down to the genus level, not really the species level. Oh, and it got pecan. Cool. And I don't know, what the heck? Oh, a star fruit? <laughs> hmm, that doesn't look like a plant. Well, it's, a, it's from a plant, and it got it. Pretty good. And it got pig nut hickory. Close, but no cigar. Sorry. In the same genus, but wrong species. Why do they think it's a pig nut hickory? <laughs> the nut of a pig nut hickory is more pear shaped and it's n not nearly as long, so. Okay, awesome. So it's 15% sure that we have a pecan, but it's its number one choice, so that's awesome. There we have pig nut hickory at 1%. <laughs> and pecan is number one, shag bark hickory, walnut, White walnut, okay, all pretty close, all pretty close. Okay, and it got pecan. And it's a member of the hickories. Okay, but it didn't give me a badge. So, that's not very fun. I wanted a badge. Oh, there's little stars by the eye icon, so maybe we can actually search this one. So we're gonna click the eye, and it recognizes it's a plant, so we're gonna click up, look up plant. And I don't even know what the heck that is. It doesn't give us any other search. This is not correct though. Okay, so now we're gonna have them all do the last photo, which is gonna be the twig from an autumn olive shrub. So we'll see how that goes. And it's a pretty solid photo of it, an autumn olive twig. They should be able to get it. And they're not confident. Let's, let's open up. Okay, okay, if we open up to locations not near here, um, autumn olive is the second option. Pretty solid. Canadian buffalo berry is very similar looking. Canadian buffalo berry. Wrong. Alder. Wrong. Sweet fern. Wrong. Hazel. Hazel alder. Wrong. Southern red oak. Really wrong. Japanese silverberry. And it got it. It identified it pretty well. Autumn olive. Good job. 
Canadian buffalo berry. Canadian buffalo berry is very popular amongst these apps, but that is not correct. Oh, it also says Canadian buffalo berry. Does it say anything else? <sighs> these gosh darn apps. And no, you're wrong, it's not a buffalo berry. And it's not a viburnum. It's not a black oak. Ah, not any of these. And it got on a olive. Woo! And it couldn't identify it. And it couldn't identify the plant. So now we're gonna do our apple photos and it looks like we can actually identify our twig. So let's look up the plant. And it thinks it's an alder. So do not <laughs> use apple photos. Or I should rephrase. Do not use Apple Photos to try to identify your plants. Now that all of our apps have identified, or at least attempted to identify all of those photos, let's see which one actually did the best. Okay, so how I rated the apps was if the apps missed the identification, then they got zero points. Like if they completely missed it, they were completely wrong, then they got zero points. All right? Or if they were unable to identify the species whatsoever, like if a page, like an error page popped up, then they got zero points for that identification. Now, what I considered the identification was the first result that popped up after the identification. Now, if they got to the genus level, then they got one point. Now, if the app was able to get to the species level, then they got two points. All right? So, out of the five photos, it was possible for each app to earn up to 10 points. Also, those apps that were trying to make me pay or gave me a limited number of identifications per day, those were all disqualified. All right, so those were a total of five out of our 16 that we started with. So I'm only rating 11 at the end here. So out of our 11, the third highest app was Nature ID. Or I should say third place was Nature ID. And Nature ID had five out of ten points. Nature ID was able to make two full identifications to the species level and one to the genus level. Now, second place is a bit more complicated because we actually have three different apps tied for second place with seven points each. So luckily, not all of our plant identification apps are completely trash. So the three apps that tied for second place were Plantia, Plantin and Plant Identify. And I actually kind of prefer Plantia and uh, Plantin more than Plant Identify, because I feel like they were able to identify the easier things uh, a bit more consistently than Plant Identify was. Like Plant Identify couldn't identify an Eastern Red Bud Leaf, and uh, Plantia and Plantin could. Now our first place winner, I'm a bit shocked by because they didn't miss a single identification. They got a full 10 out of 10 points. Our first place winner and the one that I'm deeming the best plant identification app for 2023 is Picture This. So if you don't have it yet, you should download it to your phone. And a tip I'd give you for identifying plants using a plant identification app is to have a secondary plant identification app. So you have a primary one that you know is pretty consistent. Um, so in this case, it would be Picture This. And then you have a secondary one. So I would do one that you think is pretty all right and pretty consistent. So maybe like uh, Plantia or Plantin. So they're pretty consistent. And you just have that app to sort of double check what your primary one is saying. All right? Just as a backup. All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed figuring out what the best plant identification app of 2023 is with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in my next video.